Hey guys, it's Boopy, and I'm starting a new Let's Play on Sly Cooper Thieves in Time in, not in the last episode, in this episode, we're going to start a new game. Here we go. New game, create. There we go. Yes. Okay, we're just gonna wait for this to load. We have everything, zero percent, except for the trophies, but nobody cares about those. Unless you're a trophy hunter, but I'm not hunting for them, so we don't need to do those. There's also mask, mask stuff in this game where you can collect them and you get something or whatever. And treasures, as you guys know from like slide two, Okay, here we go. I should probably just start at the beginning. The name's Sly. Sly Cooper. And I'm a thief. From a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business. And business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law in the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company. He's a trickster. A still being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I knew a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist. And we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they just finished work on a top secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically, but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Thievius Raccoonus, the Master Thieves' handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations. Its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out. 
especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations, and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone, or something, was literally erasing Cooper history. Then, to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution. Time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now, he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. So Sly? Still remembers everything. That's good because what if he didn't? Then there will be no other game. Or it'll be like Sly and Carmelita pairing up as a team. <laughs> Okay, we don't need that. Look at we we all sly like we're grown up. I don't know what I'm saying. We're all look. It follows us. We're all yeah, grown up. See, he looks totally different. No paraglider? What kind of game is this? We need all the money we can get. There we go. It's actually pretty nice playing as this kind of slide. I like it a lot. This is one of my favorite slide games of all time. I think it's actually one of my favorite. Like, is my favorite, whatever. Yeah, we know how to do the camera. We're all, we know slide three and slide two and slide one. Slide's been going on since my channel started. We know all of this. Well, slide one is kind of different, but we've been through it in the rest of the games. Murray, what are you doing? Hey Bentley, was truck surfing part of Murray's entrance strategy? And it's actually an arrow to show you what to where to go if you're stuck, which could help a lot of people. And there's a map which shows you where the X is. So where the X is is where we have to go. Look at us, we're slaggy. Looks like the perfect night for a heist. Okay. Let's go get those and these and this and this. Thank you. Now let's go here. Whoa. Okay, we don't need that. Okay. Let's be quiet. There's Murray. Hold on, let me get the money first. Hmm. Oop. Ooh. 
Sorry about that. We failed. And that was like a big fail. First death of the game. Oopsies. I don't know how he's doing this. If that was me, I would have just retreated or something. Give me that. Meter. I'm not, it's not even meter. It's coins. Or loot, whatever you like to call it. What the? <laughs> that was a fail again. This is like a fail episode. We know what to do. Ooh, look at us. Okay, we got this. Okay, you guys didn't see that. Oh my god. Security like this like watching us. Okay, okay, okay. Th this is enough. This is enough. We're failing. Like is this real? What is that? Some people talking. As it's normal, you can never hear what they're saying. It's normal. We're used to it. Especially in Sly 2, because the bosses used to always talk, and you never knew what they were saying. Uh, 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 look at me. Ooh, ooh. Good thing they... Follow me, so I don't have to go in the light. It's a good touch they added. There's money every ooh. everywhere. I was about to run in and just get caught. Stealth, we got that. Ooh. Bentley of the brains. Okay, let's go. Interesting. The last time I was in these sewers, I was just a teenager. Okay. Man, this place is disgusting. Ooh, we're that good. Was a blast. <laughs> Oopsies. Says, Rewind that. Now let's go. Should have re rewinded my health. But it's good, because we're back to full. Oopsies. I always fe keep forgetting to press triangle. Oops! Guys, give me that back. That's a big jump. X and hold. Ooh, that was close. There we go. I don't. Press and hold the L1 button. I can bring up my range fight. Then I can adjust the range of my throw by pressing forward or backward on the left stick. 
once I find the right distance, I just press the triangle button to toss a bomb with pinpoint accuracy. Haha. -ha. That's a direct hit. Wait for a health thing. Wait for that yellow thing to regenerate so we can use the hover pack again. And there we go. Okay, where's the control room? What's that red thing? That looks like an enemy. Here we go. Calabunga. Ooh. Good thing Bentley installed that. Talk about your close saves. How's that security system coming, Bentley? Great. Perfect. I'll be done in a jiffy. Okay. Fly above. We'll be done in a jiffy. Next time, I'm giving Sly the sewer job. Okay, plant a bomb on them. Oopsies. Let me go put that boy to sleep. I guess he didn't go to sleep. He just died. I'm fine with that. Hack. Whoa, it looks so different and so much better. Actually, HD and everything. Well, it was HD before, I guess. I don't know. Was it? I don't know. I'm not good at that stuff. Bentley's used to this. Get the key. Right, there's gotta be a lot for this Put the around. key in so this thing can go away. And we go in. Dang it, this reinforced firewall is oh, this is the firewall. I use that upgrade slot. I can engage my code. Whoa, look at this. We have new stuff. Like this thing. Ooh, I like this. Even though it's not better than the other one, it's not bad. Get the key. Oh, I got it. Can we destroy this? Thank you. Get this. The green one is the only one that can pick up the keys. So you pick up this key, put the key here, and it's more puzzly, but it's good. Hack complete. I like the ending. These loading screens are longer in Sly 4. And that's the way the code base crumbles. Okay, Murray, you're up. The Murray is always on, Bentley. The Braun. We're good. Okay, Murray, we need to get you back in fighting shape. Why don't you I'm already back. Look at me, I'm Murray. How can you not know what to do with Murray? Oops, take this. I'm good. Better than you. I meant these mouse. They might be mouse, or they might be a cat. They don't look nothing like a cat, though. Hey, hey, hey. I wonder if Murray and Bentley can still pickpocket. That would be cool. Wham. We're good. This is fun. Oops. Okay, can we just skip them? Okay, let's just skip them. Wherever the warehouse is. Oh my god, that takes away too much. 
Where is the warehouse? I'll just take them out if I have to. See if it makes a difference. I hate that. They're about to. I'm about to die. Okay. We just had to kill them. What are they doing? Mash. They're not gonna beat me, I'm Murray. Well. I know what to do, Bentley. Just where's the, okay, here it is. Ooh, good aim, Murray. Ha, uh -huh. we're good. Again. Murray's part was shorter than the rest. And steal it. Of course. Oh. Ex-girlfriend. Hey, Carmelita. Funny meeting you here. You no good lying thief. You up for good. Sorry, gotta take a rain check. I'll call you. Cooper! Good evening, this is Sly Cooper. I'd like to request a ride. You, Sly. Now quit stepping around and get down here. We're in the van. Whoa, we're in the van. We're driving it. Murray, you bad driving. But I don't care. We can drive through these people, do everything we want. What is behind me? Ew. No, no, no. Get me out. What are they doing? Punch it. You got it, John. That slow down, Murray. I never do. Whoa! Awesome. Well, what else can I say about Carmelita? As you can see, our relationship is complicated. I just succeeded in upgrading it to hazardous. I certainly wasn't expecting her to crash the party. She'd been so busy with her latest case, I never thought she'd have her eye on me. In fact, I had kind of been counting on it. But then, I should have known better than to underestimate Inspector Carmelita Fox. As much as she liked having fun, Carmelita was serious about her police work. And now, I had a lot of explaining to do. But the plan was in motion, and there was no stopping now. Even though I was thinking I'd need the time machine just to patch things up with Carmelita. Before the heist, we'd recruited our disco-loving, scuba-diving friend, Dimitri Listo, to look after the Thievius Raccoonus. Because it was irreplaceable and the only guide we had, it was far too risky to take the book through time with us. Bentley had even invented a communication device to allow us to contact Dimitri no matter where or when we traveled. It was a perfect situation, since it allowed him to update us on any changes to the book while limiting our exposure to his fashion critiques. Everything was happening so fast. The past few days were just a blur. 
But as we howled through the time vortex, I realized we were in for a very long trip. Okay, so that was basically the prologue we did. Okay, so cool prologue. Now we're in time, traveling in time. It's cool. This game is cool. It's like one of my favorites. If not, then my favorite. Because I like it so much. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Another cutscene. We needed to locate Ryuichi Cooper, Master Ninja, and Master Chef. According to the Cooper clan history, Ryuichi Cooper was actually the inventor of sushi. After creating this delectable dish, he opened a sushi restaurant, which, while very prosperous, also provided the perfect cover for a ninja. When we got to Japan, it was obvious something was very wrong. What should have been a peaceful village was more like a heavily patrolled military base. We located Ryuichi Sushi Restaurant only to find it shut down and under guard. Things got worse when Bentley discovered that Ryuichi was locked up in a new high security jail, allegedly for serving bad sushi to the shogun. It all sounded like a pretty tough piece of fish to swallow. We needed to get to the bottom of the situation, and the first order of business was getting Ryuichi out of prison. Turning Japanese. Okay, guys. Well, that will be the end of this episode. In the next episode, we'll be doing Sly's photo op mission. Um, we should know that. It's recon. So, um, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. And um, I'll see you guys later.